how to create PayPal buy now buttons in 2016 and I'm going to show you how simple this really is. Once you log into your PayPal account, press on profile, then press on profile and settings. In 2016, PayPal updated their user interface, so you should be seeing something like this if you're watching this video in 2016. Let's press on selling tools once we are looking at our profile, then we should be able to see PayPal buttons option. Let's press update. Now this is where all your PayPal buttons will be managed. If you never created PayPal buttons, obviously we need to create new one. So we press on that create new button link. Then we'll be given this user interface options. It is very straightforward process. As you can see, there's step one, two and three. Let's press on step one. Step one basically says, okay, what sort of a button would you like to create? Because there are so many different ones. We'll be selecting buy now button. But the rest rather follow a similar process anyway. Item name, you give the your own product item name in there. Item ID is optional. Perhaps you have a new commerce site and you'd like to track the purchase of certain items. So then you can give the item ID accordingly. Okay? That's an optional field. Price, obviously, whatever the price you're asking when that purchase happens, then you select that value. Currency, as you can see, there are so many different ones, depending on where you're living on this planet and what sort of a currency you'd like to charge for that price. Okay? I'm choosing Australian dollars, but I can easily choose USD dollars. But what if you want to have multiple values? Because that could happen as well. Then you can select add drop down menu with price and options. You can say select and so on and you can give different price values for different settings and they will be updated here. When you select done you can actually see how the button is going to look. So that is to do with multiple values per that button. Or you can say, okay, I'd like to give different options, drop down menu, perhaps colors and sizes. That's straightforward here as well. Okay? You can always press on example links to see what the options are all about. So let's cancel that. Furthermore, you can give title here, but I, I think you'll hardly use this particular example, but it's there for you. You can press on customize text and appearance. And this, as you grow your online business, you will 110% utilize this. Because buy now buttons, like default button, doesn't look good. In fact, you shouldn't even use them, right? But don't worry, because I've created sample ones and I'm going to show you how to use your own custom images as well. As you can see, the options here, you can use smaller button, display credit card icons, select different languages, select pay now, buy now, options, or it says you can use your own button image. Now, you could easily upload an image to your website that is using SSL certificates, and that's very important for any type of e-commerce site, then you can use your button image or else your ideal customers will get a warning saying their purchase is not secure and that's never smart for your conversions okay but nonetheless if you were to upload an image you simply give the URL to that image in that box so that's what that is all about okay so let's leave that there here you have two different options you can utilize your primary email address or you can utilize your secure merchant ID. Always try to use your secure merchant ID if you own a PayPal business account. 
because that is encrypted and it's more secure, okay? Option two, these are optional. This is to do with tracking inventory. I'm not going to cover it, but the options are there. You can read more about that, okay? Step three, customize advanced features. Now, although this is optional, you'll definitely use this for almost all buttons that you create using PayPal. Here it says, do you want your customers change order quantities? If you have a new commerce site, perhaps with one button click, you want your ideal customers to buy 10 different products from you. Then you can say, yes, I want them to change and so on. Now, this is the default. You can always change this message. This is what your customer will see upon completion of purchase. Do you need your customer's mailing address? If you're sending something out in the mail, you of course need their mailing address. But if you're conducting e-commerce, perhaps electronic downloads and so on, then you may select, no, I do not need my customer's mailing address. Now, these two options are very important because it just creates a better user experience for your customers. It is straightforward process I'll show you how they actually work as well. Let's imagine that someone presses on this PayPal button. Let's press on it. They will be taken to PayPal secure site. And at that moment, they can choose to fill out the details, make a purchase using their credit card or using their PayPal account. If they don't have PayPal account, they can use their credit card. And here, let's imagine that they're filling all these details out, they end up forgetting something on my website, as in some detail. They can press cancel and return to online expansions. So when they click on that link, whatever URL you give here, that is the link, okay? And once the order is completed, then you may have a thank you page, that's only smart to have, then you can give the URL to that thank you page here. Advanced variables, you can learn more about it, but this is how simple it is to create buy now buttons using PayPal. Then press on create button. Once you press on that link, you'll be given a code that looks like this. It's basically a form whereby you can insert it anywhere on your website where you want that button to appear. So I am showing you the same code for one of my PayPal buttons and I'm going to show you how you can easily customize it here. So when you create the button, you're going to use the default image, that buy now button image, right? And that is coming from here. So therefore, all you need to do is upload some of the sample images that I created for you and change the URL here. Upload any of them or create your own and then use your custom images. It's much better. Then each button that you create will have a value that is generated automatically by PayPal. Now that value makes your button work. It's very important that you use the exact code by copying and pasting because if you have to write it you end up you, know, you may end up making mistakes okay so basically if you now grab this because I'll just show you a different option now so if you were to replace this part of it after the equal sign and place your own PayPal button value now this URL, if I copy this URL and go to it directly, look where it's going to take me. So it's taking me to the same place. That means you can use your PayPal buttons just like what you're seeing on the screen right now as clickable links without any images if you want. So that's another option for you. Now if you were to utilize that option, you simply would need to create 
uh, clickable hyperlink and then simply give that URL in there like so as in it will be your own code there right then you can have a clickable link that looks much better as well so you have different options now as I've shown you what I have also done is created the CSS code if you want your buttons to look a little bit like this now you can always modify it no problems all you would need to do is simply give a class element to that clickable hyperlink which is your anchor hyperlink and that matches that surely you can change it you can change the colors colors are coming from here you can always grab different ones perhaps to match your own brand colors and so on so at the end of the day creating paypal buttons is very easy as you now know but relying on the default ones may not allow you to see good results in 2016 and beyond instead learn to use your own images or perhaps even clickable links because they just look much better and it will provide better user experience as well i thank you very much for learning with me if you benefited from this video session please do give it a like and share it and the codes and images will be available for you to download in the description of this video tutorial and I'll talk with you in the next video session.